Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampis. I have officially decided to share with you some tips on hair growth and for this I'm going to start a new series on my YouTube channel called How to Grow Natural Afro Hair Fast. This also includes how to prevent breakage and maintain growth. And you know part of that for me is washing your hair often, washing your hair in the right way considering that you're not using dangerous chemicals as well as combing your hair with the right tools and in the right way as for this video i'm going to share with you how i should wash my hair from like from a to z starting at uh, removing my protective style that i have worn a week before the washing and to the very how do i style like after the washing just before i leave the house the good thing about having a short afro is that i don't have to undo the braids from the from the begin like from the ends i just cut them when i natural hair ends and then start there and it's a very fast process then once i'm done with all the i have removed all the braids i move on to detangling my hair i try to do this in small section as you can see here with a white like a very nice afro that is not chipped and i also I always support my hair the base that it doesn't cause so much pain on my skin. My natural hair is 4C, especially on the side and somewhere on the top of the head. It's, uh, I would probably say that it's uh, then um, 4B. This is a process that requires a lot of um, patience and gentleness. And uh, for me that is okay because I don't detangle my hair when it's wet. I try to take time and make sure it's well detangled before I wash. And this also is the washing process in terms of um, ensuring that, you know, your scalp are also clean and the water can penetrate through your thick afro to your scalp. This is what I'm talking about. When you detangle your hair while it's still dry, it doesn't break a lot. And this is a little bit that came off this time. I have had time when I tried to comb my hair while it was wet and I've seen how much damage does that really cause. That would be probably three times more of the hair that I have now collected in the sink. very simple product for my hair uh, what I usually look for is making sure that the product that I use are specific for people with dry hair because my hair is extremely dry and then also um, this brand is 100% vegan so I don't want to get a lot of chemicals and things like um, sulfate on my shampoos and this works very well, also very affordable, a bottle cost I think between 3 to 5 euros in a normal supermarket, like you just find them in the normal um, uh, toiletry shop like uh, Rossmann, I think Cliques would also have the same products. I have to admit that washing a short like this uh, mid length afro is very tricky than washing the long afro just because you can't really part the hair into sections or so sometimes it's difficult for the water or it's not easy or it takes a longer time for the water to actually penetrate the hair and really reach the scalp and uh, if you have noticed even though my hair is very short and I can't put it in sections I try when I'm applying the shampoo to make sure that I work in smaller section and really clean uh, the whole head. I apply the shampoo twice and then I take time to make sure that I rinse off all the traces of shampoo from my hair before I move on to the conditioning process. And yes, 
that's how i do it and you know condition also takes some time because again it's just very difficult to apply to the conditioner to each strand of hair it's just very difficult because the hair is short and you can't really separate it into sections in the right way so it takes some time for me to make sure that all the hair on my head are covered with this conditioner um this is the simplest way that i think i have is the also the best way to apply it without directly applying the conditioner on your scalp i don't like to do that um simply because i feel like it's very difficult to wash off the conditioner and i don't want to have traces of the scalp of the conditioner on my scalp i feel it might actually reduce the circulation and then of course it's going to reduce the growth So this simple conditioner i don't apply any cap or anything after conditioning i just apply the conditioner leave it on my hair for five minutes and then i wash it off and again when i'm washing off the conditioner i try by all means to make sure that my hair is really clean so after the conditioner i apply like uh, just cover my hair in a towel for about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that there's no more water dripping and you know if you have an afro like a thick one like mine you know how difficult is it to really dry the hair i use the cantu uh, leave-in conditioner it's very nice however i don't apply a lot of this on my hair because i usually do a wash and go and i've noticed that when i apply a lot of it it just leave a lot of white traces on my hair so a very little bit and work it on the hair very well and then move on to applying my specially homemade oil for hair growth and then i the last product i add to my hair is this uh garnier oil for dry hair this is very nice it's very light and it smells very nice my wash days are quite simple these days i do not like to apply a lot of product to my hair anymore especially after washing up it just feel like oh why am i dirtifying my hair just after washing a little bit of leave-in conditioner hair growth oil and uh that garnier oil just for just that refreshing smell and i'm ready to go so the whole process take about um 45 minutes to an hour the washing is very simple and i just let my hair you know like air dry it's not dry at the moment but i'm ready to leave the house and do you know normal saturday thing like shopping meet up with friends and stuff and by the time when i come back it's going to be dry and the next day i can put it into bantu twist or flat twist or something like that And yeah that was it for me today i hope you had fun okay i have to lay my edge a little bit <laughs> even though i don't use gel i have this mini brush that i use if you enjoyed this video please give me a like subscribe to our channel and most important guys give me some comments in the comment section below how do you do your wash day and how long does it take i would also like to learn something maybe you can also recommend me some product that might soften my hair my hair is very very hard and so far, I haven't found anything that can soften it. I just leave it as it is. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Yeah!